At the Farnborough International Air Show in July 2024, the UK, Italy and Japan partners in the Global Combat Air Program GCAP. UK, Italy and Japan has unveiled a new concept aircraft model, showcasing the notable progress the trilateral partners are making in the design and concepting of this next-generation combat aircraft or should we call the sixth-generation fighter. Exhibiting at the show together for the first time, the three GCAP government partners and their lead industry partners BAE Systems, Leonardo and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries showcase the significant strides they are making to progress the delivery of a next-generation combat aircraft. The Global Combat Air Program GCAP stands as one of the most ambitious international defense collaborations in modern history. The GCAP is not just a response to evolving global security dynamics, but also a testament to the commitment of these nations to maintain and advance their air combat capabilities in the face of emerging threats. When the GCAP was first announced in 2022, the concept art showed a large twin-engine aircraft, low observable aircraft with a unique cranked delta wing design. However, on July 22, 2024, at Farnborough Air Show, they unveiled an updated design along with the first hull-scale model of the aircraft. The new design featured a true delta wing shape with larger wings, suggesting improvements in fuel capacity for longer range, weapon storage, and speed. Under the current timeline, the program expects to begin the formal development phase from 2025 with a demonstrator aircraft to fly in 2027 and production aircraft to begin entering service from 2035. The combat aircraft will be one of the world's most advanced interoperable, adaptable and connected fighter jets boasting an integrated hybrid power and propulsion solution advanced weapon systems, a software-driven interactive cockpit, and a powerful next-generation radar capable of providing 10,000 times more data than current systems. Each of these nations has recognized the need to replace aging aircraft like the Eurofighter Typhoon, Japan's F-2, and other legacy systems with a new platform capable of meeting the challenges of the mid-21st century. The program is envisaged as an equal partnership between the member nations. In the UK, BAE Systems will act as a prime contractor and handle the airframe, Rolls-Royce Engines, Leonardo's UK division the electronics, and MBDA UK the weapons. In Japan, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries will act as prime contractor, with IHI Corporation handling the engines and Mitsubishi Electric handling the electronics. In Italy, Leonardo SPA will be prime contractor, with Evio Aero working on the engines, and MBTA IT will also work on missile development. The aircraft will be cornerstone of the program. It is expected to incorporate a host of advanced technologies. Stealth capabilities are a given, allowing the jet to operate undetected in contested environments. The design will likely emphasize reduced radar cross-sections, advanced composite materials, and optimized airframes to achieve superior stealth performance. The GCAP fighter is also expected to feature cutting-edge avionics and sensors, including next-generation radar systems, infrared tracking, and electronic warfare capabilities. These systems will not only enhance the aircraft's situational awareness, but also allow it to engage multiple targets simultaneously in complex threat environments. The AI-driven systems are anticipated to play a significant role in the aircraft's operations, providing decision support, autonomous functions, and enhanced human-machine teaming. These AI systems could manage tasks such as threat detection, weapons gathering, and mission planning thereby reducing pilot workload and increasing mission effectiveness. 
At the 2024 Farnborough Air Show, Rolls-Royce announced that they are making progress on a full-scale engine demonstrator for the next-generation fighter. The next-generation engines will have significantly improved performance over current models. These engines are likely to provide greater thrust, better fuel efficiency, and enhanced durability, ensuring that the aircraft can achieve superior speed, range, and agility. The aircraft's performance parameters are designed to set new standards in air combat. This includes the ability to engage in supercruise, sustain supersonic flight without afterburners, thus allowing the fighter to cover vast distances quickly while conserving fuel. On July 24, 2024, after passing an important design review, BAE Systems reportedly began building and assembling a flyable technology demonstrator. Most of the parts for this aircraft will be made in the UK, involving over 100 suppliers. The manufacturing process includes advanced techniques like using a hot isostatic press to minimize material waste and speed up production, as well as additive manufacturing. This demonstrator will feature an integrated weapons bay. The first for British-made aircraft since the Blackburn Buccaneer, with MBDA UK helping to integrate the weapons. It will also be the first aircraft to use the Pyramid Avionics design architecture. Simulated test flights for the demonstrators have already reached 215 hours. Although this technology demonstrator is primarily a UK project, the knowledge gained will contribute to the GCAP, similar to how Japan's Mitsubishi X-2 informed later developments. While the exact size of the demonstrator hasn't been disclosed, based on the size of its engine ducts, it is estimated to be about a third larger than a Eurofighter Typhoon. From a strategic perspective, the GCAP strengthens the defense ties between the UK, Japan and Italy, providing a framework for closer military cooperation. This partnership sends a clear message about the commitment of these nations to maintaining a strong and capable defense posture in an increasingly uncertain world. It also enhances their ability to project power and influence globally, particularly in key regions such as Europe, the Asia-Pacific and the Mediterranean. Well, with this, The Buzz is signing off for today. Stick around for more interesting videos from The Buzz. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.